Each year, scientists, researchers, and everyday people make incredible discoveries, helping us to better understand the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. Physicists say there might be another reality right beyond this one. Have you ever looked back on your life and thought, what if? What if you had gone on that tropical holiday instead of staying home? Who would you have met? What would you have experienced? Would it have changed who you are today? Some physicists believe there is another version of you who did go on that trip and is living out the consequences, either good or bad, of making that decision. In fact, they believe there could be multiple versions of you in alternate realities living different versions of your life. This is a favoured analysis called many worlds interpretation. The gist of it is that any situation can have many, possibly infinite, different outcomes. A multiverse, if you will. Wait a minute, you might say. If there are simultaneous realities that different versions of you are participating in, doesn't that go against the law that something cannot be created from nothing? Not necessarily. If you think of it as a big loaf of bread, you slice that loaf of bread and you can do any number of things with it. Toast it, make a sandwich, even turn it into breadcrumbs. All these things can happen from one loaf of bread. Even though you are eating a delicious cheese or ham sandwich from that loaf of bread, another version of you is having cheese on toast. Same loaf of bread, different outcomes. It can be mind-bending to think about other worlds where different versions of ourselves are wondering about living life with a different set of circumstances. Our own earthly experience tells us that this is the only time and existence happening right now. Recently, scientists have been able to create and compare different realities in a lab setting. This is based on a thought experiment from 1961 Nobel Prize winner Eugene Wigner. The experiment, known as Wigner's Friend, outlines the theory that two people witnessing the same event can have different experiences. Kaslav Bruckner, at the University of Vienna, brought the experiment to life using many intertwined particles at the same time. The lab creation of multiple realities is a state-of-the-art six-photon experiment. The conclusion is that two realities can coexist, even though they can have incommensurable results. This leaves the door open to many questions. Can we choose how we observe situations in our lives, or are our reactions pre-wired? Do the choices we make affect other observers? And ultimately, will we one day find ourselves visiting ourselves in another reality? AI discovers over 300 unknown exoplanets in Kepler telescope data. Every day it seems that we rely on artificial intelligence more and more to make discoveries about the aspects of the world around us that are invisible or incomprehensible to the human eye and brain. Recently, an artificial intelligence algorithm astonished scientists with its discovery of more than 300 exoplanets as a result of its analysis of data from the retired Kepler telescope. The Kepler Space Telescope was NASA's first spacecraft dedicated to the search for exoplanet life and orbited the cosmos in order to observe and record data on the thousands of bodies that inhabit space outside of our solar system. Although it became defunct in late 2018, the Kepler telescope gathered an incredible amount of data and manually sorting through it in search of signs of undiscovered exoplanets is a daunting process that results in many false positives. Exoplanets can be discovered by observing small, temporary decreases in the brightness of stars, which could be caused by an exoplanet orbiting in front of the star, blocking its light. However, not all of these decreases in brightness are due to exoplanets, and it is often incredibly difficult to sort out the false positives from the actual exoplanets. When observing the data and locating the site of a potential exoplanet, Scientists would first have to calculate the light curve in order to discover the size of the hypothesized planet in relation to the star and compare this to how long it takes the body to cross the sun. Oftentimes this eliminates many candidates, but this highly involved verification process does not always take out all of the false positives that may slip through the cracks when manually applied by the researchers. 
Because the process is so tedious and complex, exoplanets identified by scientists analyzing the original data are highly likely to turn out to be false positives. However, when researchers applied the new artificial intelligence algorithm ExoMiner to the data, it was able to apply the same process to the entire dataset in order to say for certain whether a dimmed star was truly an exoplanet. The artificial intelligence was able to quickly and accurately scour the dense amount of data in a way that is impossible to accomplish by hand due to the intelligence system's neural network characteristics that allow it to learn from its actions in order to improve its abilities. In fact, in addition to the planets already discovered by countless hours of researchers poring over the data, ExoMiner identified over 300 additional, previously unknown planets to the catalogue in just one batch. ExoMiner project lead Hamed Velizadegan made a statement speaking to the high confidence that researchers can place in ExoMiner, saying that when ExoMiner says something is a planet, you can be sure it's a planet. ExoMiner is highly accurate and in some ways more reliable than both existing machine classifiers and the human experts it's meant to emulate because of the biases that come with human labeling. Because of the incredible success seen with ExoMiner's interpretation of the Kepler telescope data, researchers are looking at the possibility of applying the principles to data collected from other telescopes and satellites, as well as potentially adding it to the search for extraterrestrial life. It seems that this exciting new technology has the potential to rapidly increase our ability to map and understand the regions of space outside the reach of our satellites. Evidence of supernovae found in ancient tree rings While all research into space starts from here on Earth, from building equipment to analyzing data, it is not often that the research is in the Earth. But it seems as though looking at trees could give us some answers to how the end of supernova impacts the rest of space around it. Researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder have found a correlation between the radiocarbon levels tracked via the rings in ancient trees and the end of massive stars, supernovae in space. When stars reach the end of their life cycle, there is often a large explosion of sorts, releasing great quantities of high-energy gamma radiation. What researchers are beginning to ask is how often these sorts of events occur. Various techniques have turned in mixed results, with some suggesting three per century, but the last observed event being 400 years ago. Though it seems the trees here on Earth could have some more clues. When the cosmic rays from space reach Earth, they first interact with the upper atmosphere, where there are lots of nitrogen atoms. This produces a nuclear reaction that results in radiocarbon and the quantities of radiocarbon in the atmosphere can be tracked by analyzing tree rings. The general trend is that every now and then a large spike will occur that then gradually decreases over the following years, only to spike again. It's possible that the spikes could be from solar flares or storms, though the current researchers are theorizing that the end of a supernovae could be behind this fluctuating trend. The team used the nebula left after the supernovae exploded to determine all the known events in the last 40,000 years to then compare this to the spike in the tree rings. They found eight coordinating instances, one of which saw a 3% increase in tree ring radiocarbon levels. While this may not sound like much, it is a significant increase. Nothing is definitive yet, but this certainly does present a new avenue for research. Massive hole discovered under Antarctica bigger than the Grand Canyon Researchers exploring the Ellsworth subglacial highlands, an ancient mountain range buried beneath miles and miles of Antarctic ice, have discovered a pit deeper than the Grand Canyon. The incredible find was discovered by combining data provided by aircraft satellites with ice-penetrating radar technology towed by snowmobiles. Originally an ancient mountain range, now layered over by thousand-year-old glaciers, the massive trench, or rather valley, reaches 1.9 miles deep, 200 miles long, and more than 15.5 miles wide. To put this into perspective, the Grand Canyon is only about one mile deep. 
Dr. Neil Ross, a geology professor at Newcastle University, describes the find as incredibly serendipitous. As the teams of researchers and scientists had spent three seasons mapping out the subglacial mountain range beforehand, yet had never expected to find this trough. They further went on to explain that while they had been able to gather data from the two ends of the huge hidden valley, they had no previous insight into what lay in between their data points. In the end, the satellite data was used to fill in the gaps, because although covered by several miles of glacial ice, the valley is so vast that it can be seen from space, continued Ross. After analysing their discovery and supporting data, it has been determined that this valley was formed millions of years ago by a small ice field, much akin to those of the present-day Antarctic Peninsula. A couple of years later, a similar quest found a large hole beneath the barren icy landscapes of Antarctica, in which topography has shown that there may be another huge hole beneath the ice sheet's surface. This hole is not quite as deep as the last, or the Grand Canyon, measuring at only 0.6 miles deep, but it has been found to be longer than the Grand Canyons, making it incredibly significant as well. These sizable discoveries are quite literally in more ways than one, go to show just how much about the Earth we have left to uncover, and that there is still so much we do not know about the planet we call home. This is especially applicable to the Antarctic, one of the largest landmasses on Earth, still pretty much unsurveyed to date. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.